Hello students, welcome back to Education on Cloud. So as we have seen, we have completed five chapters of revision till now. So today let's start with another new chapter that is chapter triangles. Clear? So uh, as we are aware of, first we'll look into all the theory part of the chapter, then we'll solve you certain questions. Clear? So now first basically, what is triangles? All those objects which have same shape but different sizes are called as similar objects. First, what is the explanation of similar objects? No need of uh, explanation. Suppose if we are, uh, why is it relating to, uh, why is the similar topic, similar objects topic related to or basically how? For this triangles, see their corresponding angles are equal and if their corresponding sides have length in same ratio okay so one angles will be equal and their corresponding sides will be having same ratio right how do we uh, tell that uh, angle a uh, when we are considering two triangles triangle abc and triangle def so if you can observe over here angle a is going to be equal to angle d similarly angle B is equal to angle E, C is going to be equal to angle F, right, this was something related to angles. Similarly, as I said, uh, as the statement tells, their corresponding sides will be proportional, that is AB by DE. So, if you can see, if we consider this as a triangle, this AB is going to be equal to this DE. Similarly, BC is equal to EF and AC is going to be equal to DF, right, this is how it works. Then we will understand just the basic statement over here as we have seen the complete how to prove that in our regular classes we will just uh, quickly run through. So basic proportionality theorem which is also called as Thales theorem the statement goes like if a straight line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersecting the other two sides then it divides other two sides in the same ratio. Suppose if we consider a triangle over here and if we draw a line so it is going to uh, divide uh, divide the two sides in the same ratio that is this is going to get divided in the same ratio that is what it means so here uh, abc is the triangle given abc a straight line de so i am drawing a line de which is parallel to bc so this is parallel to bc intersecting ab at d so this is ab it is intersecting at d Similarly, AC is the line and at a point E it is going to intersect. If this is the statement given, what is what does the basic proportionality theorem tell? So, it just tells that it is going to divide in the same ratio that is AB by AD. AB upon AD is equal to AC upon AE. Right. Similarly, AB upon DB. AB, AB upon DB is equal to AC upon EC. Clear? So, this is something related to basic proportionality theorem. So, similarly, what is the con uh, converse of basic proportionality theorem? So, whatever is the basic proportionality theorem, it is just the opposite of it. See, uh, if a straight line divides any two sides, uh, if a straight line directly first here, it is going to start with dividing a line in the same ratio, then the line must be parallel. So, in basic proportionality theorem, first we constructed this DE telling that it is going to divide in the same ratio. But now, uh, converse of BPT, all which is also called as converse of Thales theorem, tell that if a straight line divides any two sides, then the line must be parallel to the third side. That is, this DE must be parallel to BC is what we have to prove. Similarly, the next theorem is going to be angle bisector theorem. From exam point of, two, uh, point of view, uh, you can for sure uh, expect any one of the theorems for a 5 marker. Clear? So now, angle bisector theorem. The internal angle, the internal or which can be used as external as well, of an angle of a triangle divides the opposite side internally. See, if at all if you are using internally, it is going to divide externally. If, if you are using externally, it is going to divide internally in the ratio of corresponding sides containing the angle. Clear? So now the next theorem is converse of angle bisector theorem. Whatever you just saw in angle bisector, now it is going to be the converse of it. If a straight line through one vertex of a triangle divides the opposite side internally in other uh, in other of the two um, in the ratio of other two sides, see here whatever you have learnt in angle bisector theorem, it is just the converse of it. Converse mean uh, converse the word itself represent the reciprocal of it. 
clear then uh, criteria uh, for similarity of uh, triangles the following three criteria what are the three criteria one can be angle 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 similarity criterion if two triangles corresponding angles are equal then their corresponding sides are in the same ratio and hence two triangles are similar if we just tell that uh, if uh, that is in two triangles if we consider abc and def in these two triangles corresponding angles are equal corresponding angles has to be equal then their corresponding sides are in the same ratio if a is equal to d b is equal to e c is equal to f and sides also are in proportion then i can tell that these two triangles are going to be similar clear so a remark if two triangles of one triangle are respectively equal to two triangles of another triangle then the two triangles are similar so this point uh, we'll just take up one question and we'll see that clear so uh, first one was angle 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 criterion the next one is going to be side 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 uh, criterion so which is similarity cr uh, criterion for two triangles this is all about this criterion is all about when we are having two triangles how uh, using what basis uh, that is using what criteria can we even tell that whatever two triangles we have considered are going to be similar right the first one was angle 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 and the next one is going to be similarity criterion which is side side and side in two triangles a side see uh, in angle we were comparing with the angle so now this is side so if sides of one triangle are proportional in the same ratio to sides of another triangle then their corresponding angles are equal over there first we saw if angles are equal sides are going to be um, sides are uh, if angle if angles are equal corresponding sides are in the same ratio but over here sides first has to be proportional then their corresponding angles will be equal then we can tell that two triangles are similar clear uh, the next one and the last criterion is going to be sas so side angle side uh, criterion which is also similarity criterion for two triangles if one angle of the triangle is equal to one angle so over here in sas see first to tell the difference between all the three so angle 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 has to be equal for uh, aas uh, criterion for this side all these sides has to be equal if uh, ab is equal to de bc is equal to ef similarly ac is equal to df but in this side angle side as you can see see here all three angles were equal here all three sides are. but here at least two sides has to be equal and one angle has to satisfy if one triangle uh, if one angle of a triangle one angle so there is one angle over here one angle of a triangle is equal to one angle of the other another that is if we consider this angle is equal to another angle and if corresponding sides including these angles are proportional then these two sides are similar this just means that if any other two sides are equal then the angles uh, these angles are proportional and we can tell that these two triangles are going to be similar clear so all this in a statement form you will never get it is all application in question and answer clear so now angles of similar triangles the ratio of uh, the ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to ratios of square of corresponding angle so this is very important when it comes to four marker or five marker everything will be related to uh, these type only that is ratio of areas of two similar triangle see first you have to prove that it is similar only the similar triangles we are considering here once we uh, the ratio of areas of uh, if the ratio of area of two similar triangles are equal the ratio of their squares this ratio of their squares are also going to be equal clear for example uh, when we are considering triangle abc over here if a perpendicular is drawn from vertex to the right angle triangle so this is going to be my um hypotenuse see the vertex of a right angle triangle uh, to the hypotenuse so this is the vertex to the hypotenuse for over here if i draw a line this is going to form 90 degree over here 
then the uh, then the triangles on each side of the perpendicular triangle perpendicular are similar to the whole triangle suppose if i consider this dba if i consider this dba it is going to be abc also it is going to be proportional that is what it means similarly if i consider this portion with the whole triangle also it is going to be equal and again these two parts that is abd also will be equal to dac clear next one if the two triangles are similar then the ratio of their corresponding sides is equal to the ratio of their corresponding altitudes even this when it comes to question applicability is uh, quite important if tri uh, in triangle abc and efg what is going to be proportional ab upon this is not de ab upon ef c ab upon ef bc upon fg similarly ac upon uh, eg we are aware of it so even altitudes are going to be equal that is ad up, um, ad is going to be equal to eh ad upon eh that is it is going to be in the ratio format clear then the final part of it if two triangles are similar then the ratio of their corresponding sides is equal to the ratio of their corresponding perimeters right if triangle abc plus e, uh, efg the constant uh, triangles we are just considering then over here it is just nothing but the perimeters corresponding perimeters clear um, next is going to be Pythagoras theorem and converse of Pythagoras theorem Ka uh, Pythagoras theorem which is also called as uh, Bhaudayan theorem and converse of Pythagoras theorem so what is this Pythagoras theorem basically so if we just consider right angle triangle so if I consider a right angle triangle, triangle ABC, so first it is going to form at an angle B 90 degree is what it is going to form. So this is hypotenuse square, this is hypotenuse side that is the longest side is going to be your hypotenuse and one is going to be your base and the other is going to be your perpendicular. Right, if this is my triangle, what does the statement tell? In a right angle triangle, the square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of squares of other two sides. That is, the square of hypotenuse, whatever is the longest side, that is uh, hypotenuse square, this is going to be equal to sum of squares of other two sides, that is base square plus perpendicular square. This is what perp uh, Pythagoras theorem states. What does converse of Pythagoras theorem state? In a triangle, if square of one side is equal to sum of squares of other two sides, here they have already given you that it is going to be equal. The statement has been given over here, you just have to prove that it is going to form a 90 degree. Right, so uh, we will see a few questions relating to this topic. <music>